Hello everyone, and welcome to our first top 10. Despite the title of this video, this list isn't fully moments from games, it's more just things from games which had an impact on me. Thanks to a few of the other people on this channel for helping me create this list. Before I begin, SPOILERS! If you see a game you care about the story of, please turn away. And also, I'm only choosing one moment per franchise, so without further ado, let's get on with it. Number 10. Building your first house in Minecraft. This point in the game for me was that it really showed how open the game is. It's so humbling to be able to make a crude little shack out of the small amount of basic materials you found. Other games can offer massive, sprawling, beautiful landscapes and busy, alive cities, but sometimes something you make yourself can be more impressive. Number 9. Getting your mind blown in Antichamber. This game put me in a mental asylum, and I'm not sure if I'm out of it yet. The paths this game offer are amazing. It's sort of a game which gets you accustomed to what's going to happen in the game, and then completely messes with that from then on. There's so much to mess with your head in that this e entry on the list is just the whole game. Number 8. Getting Vengeance in Westerado. Since this guy murdered your brother and mother in this beautiful little free game, you have a real reason to track this guy down and get revenge. The way this game does this is brilliant, and the moment when you finally find the guy who matches your description, you don't hesitate to pull your trigger. Number 7. Dying in Red Dead Redemption. This moment came as a massive shock to anyone, well, the ones who didn't get it spoiled. One of the biggest twists in gaming, as well as a highly emotional scene in a wonderful game. John Marston gets so close to what he wants, only to get shot down mercil mercilessly with the reasoning of the law. Number 6. The final level in Super Hexagon. When you complete this final level, it's not really something in the game that does much. It's the idea behind it. The, um, the meaning. When you beat this level, you deserve the title of Hexagon Master. It's such a difficult game that you really are a gaming god if you- Number 5. Flying in Dear Esther, or the ending. At the end of this short, critically acclaimed experience, as you finally get to the objective that you've seen the whole time, the aerial, and you start climbing it, as the emotional music plays, your character jumps off the aerial, falling slowly, and then suddenly the camera pulls up, and you fly across this island. I'm not sure what it means, but I'm, and I'm not sure if it, your character dies, and the flying is just a metaphor, or if what you see actually happens. But what I do know is that this is, an, um, this is a perfect ending to an amazing game. Number 4. Wheatley going crazy in Portal 2. The character that has guided you through the game up to this point, and has given you some comic relief along with GLaDOS, in this otherwise dark game, suddenly goes mad with power as he gets control of the facility. This twist is something that not even the voice actor Stephen Merchant expected. As your friend becomes the foe, and you are forced to work with your rival, this game's story just gets better and better. Number 3. The Ending of Braid. As you reach the end of this unique puzzle game, you are under the illusion that you are trying to rescue the girl. It's on this final level, when you race the end to try and reach her, that time rewinds and you realise that all this time she was running from you. You were the bad guy. An amazing understanding of how we think stories go makes this very hard-hitting, and has a great impact. Number 2. The Antichrist scene in Bioshock Infinite. This scene is genius. First of all, the game starts you off in a beautiful paradise, and with this scene, flips it upside down. As blood splatters into this fairy tale world, it's like seeing two different universes collide. The contrast between gritty gore and the sunny paragraph is an extraordinary slap to the face. Before we reach our number one spot, let's go through some honourable mentions. The season one ending in Walking Dead. I just felt this uh, this moment was just too big of a moment and just, it, it didn't make me feel that much. I know I must be a Dalek or something for not feeling anything in this ending, but I, I, it definitely made me sad. It's just that it didn't have as much of an impact on me as the moment in the first slot did. And beating the Elite Four in Pokemon. So, number one, what could be the my best moment in games, in my opinion, don't hurt me if you didn't like it, 
The First Colossus in Shadow of the Colossus. I love this game. I remember the first time I played. You get into the wonderful looking game and get a long cutscene explaining the plot. Then you're given the task of defeating the 16 Colossi. It's not until you go into battle with Valus, Colossus number one, that you understand what it is you're up against. A towering figure which would seem impossible to fight, and there's no tutorial level here. The game pits you against a monster and, go and goes, okay, now go. This is something I've never seen done in gaming, the scale of the Colossus, but I sure would like to. That's why the first Colossus is my all-time favourite gaming moment. So, I hope you enjoyed this first top 10. If you disagreed with anything on this list, please be nice, they were just my opinions. I would love to see your feedback in the comments. Now I'm interested to see know what your favourite gaming moments are. Do you agree with any of mine? Do you think one should be higher or lower down? Let me know in the comments section. So, remember to like this video if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, and subscribe if you felt we really liked it. Thanks for watching everyone, I'll see you next time.